Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to be kitting up this beautiful close-up picture of an owl, which is just like its mask, I suppose, at the front with its gorgeous big eyes and its beak there. And I've had this one since January. It's from FG Normal. Um, it cost me £6.49. I believe it is still on the website. Uh, I did pay for this one myself. It's not a PR package. Uh, and it is 30 by 60 in size. And it's 25 colours, but it's a full crystal. And I just fell in love with it. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm hoping it looks as stunning once it's done as I think it's going to. Uh, yay! Can't wait to get it done. And I am doing my crystals at the moment because I'm trying to catalogue all my crystals into DMC order. So any crystal canvases I've got that have got whatever... Uh, DMC codes on then I am trying to uh, get those done first so I can get organized well that's my plan anyway doesn't always happen that way but this is what I'm trying <laughs> okay so let's get started putting those drills into the pots so I'm using my little 30 storage case and um, I've run up my key code I copied it from uh, the canvas and printed it out and I've put it onto my bottles using my Zaron sticker maker to turn the paper into stickers. Okay, so I've already got that done. In fact, I'd started kitting up and then I thought, I should be filming this. <laughs> okay, I know some people do use um, the actual key codes from the side of the canvas. It doesn't work for me. I find that it's a little bit bulky and I start catching them and they start coming off. So I prefer to copy it out and do it that way. But we all have our own different ways of doing things. So, yeah, that's fine. And that's how we learn as well. <laughs> OK, so we want these. Uh, I'll pop the canvas out of the way for now. But that is absolutely stunning. I think as I say, it's going to go above a doorway somewhere, I think. Um, oh, that might be a bit scary. I don't know. I haven't quite decided where it's going. Um, hmm. Could go above my unit, actually, in my craft room, because that's quite a narrow space. But, yeah, I do like these long, thin paintings. They just sort of, like, fill in gaps, because, yeah, after a while, when you're doing a lot of damn painting, you do start running out of room. <laughs> OK, so we'll pop him out of the way for now. So we've got our gems, I need my tray and I need my scissors. So let's have a look, where is number one? Come in number one. There's number one. So we'll start here and work our way through these lovely crystals. Okay, so pot number one. I've got a feeling that there's a lot of uh, some of these colours. So I may be needing more than one pot, but we'll have to see. Maybe I should have used my bigger storage for this. Mm. Okay, well, I've got these kitted up now. I've got these set labelled up now. So let's go on to this and see where we end up. Let's get started. Right, first one into the pot. Lovely sparkly gems. So that bag has all gone in there. So that helps. All right, so that's number one. Let's get these couple that have tried to escape in there. Okay. All right, so I hope everybody is doing okay and is surviving whatever weather you have at the moment. In the UK now, it is still quite hot and humid, but it's not as hot as it was last week. So we broke all records last week with the heat. Um, we have been having little bits of rain, not huge amounts, but enough to sort of wet the ground a little bit. But unfortunately, it's not cooled it off. Cooled it off? Yeah, that's right. Off. But I want to speak in English then. Oh my goodness, right. So we have three bags of standard black, which is your three tens. Okay. So now I'm probably only going to get one bag in here. So we have a lot of 310 in this painting. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I sound like an owl. Ooh. <laughs> no, I don't sound like an owl at all, though. I'll, I'll, I'll not go on to impressions. <laughs> that is a very, very full pot. Let me just tap that down a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to be opening this pot and it will go everywhere. 
oops and i've got a sparkly yellow one there let me just get that out and put it in with those yellows oh look at me being organized <laughs> there you are so pop those in there okay and i'm just going to put those on one side for now I may just put those in the top of my little knitting, uh, knitting, netted piece. I'm just not speaking today, am I? What's going on? <laughs> and we'll move on to number four. So, yeah, I've uh, had a bit of a strange week, really. Um, we went to hospital earlier in the week and hubby did really well and then... We've had uh, some news about some sort of medical supplies that we use and um, they've decided that they will supply us with those. So that's good. So that's going to save us a little bit of money. Um, and we are going to get some of the money back that we've paid out for his wheelchair. So that's good as well. So, And then Friday afternoon, um, I decided, right... I need to go and get Texas our washing machine is in our garage so I had to go outside and get the washing I'd forgotten to take the washing basket with me and coming back I forgot I'd moved we've got like this concrete planter that's about this big by about this high and uh, yeah I'd forgotten it was there and I just tripped over it so I've scraped all my ankle up my ankle um, and up to my shin fell over because I still had the washing and I thought, oh, I've only just washed this. I don't want to drop it. And I've scraped all, I won't show you the other side of my arms because you might be having your tea. Um, but I've scraped all the insides, all the underneaths of both of my arms, um, all the way from there to there, all the way down the door frame, which is brick. So I've lost quite a bit of skin. <laughs> it's very, very sore. Um, I'm having to not put my arms down anywhere because it's too sore. I've got lots of bruises. Uh, fortunately, the dustbin is just near the back door. Well, our recycling bin is just near the back door. So I fell into the bin and with it being plastic, it sort of broke my fall. Otherwise, I would have hit concrete really, really hard. Um, I've twisted my ankle. And uh, yeah, you see, I'm five foot ten. So there's quite a bit of me um, when I fall. There's quite a bit that falls over. And I'm quite a large lady as well. So there is a lot of me that just went splat. <laughs> Lots of choice words later. Um, hubby shouting from the living room, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I said, I've just fallen over. And he's, oh no. And I said, just stay where you are. Don't don't try and come and get me because he can't stand, he can't walk. Um, he's wheelchair bound. So he would have had to get out of his chair and into his wheelchair and then come. And he, wouldn't have, he couldn't get outside to come and help me anyway. So I had to just carefully pick myself up and check that I'd not broken anything other than quite a bit of hurt pride because um, nobody likes falling over. And uh, yeah, so that was my start to the weekend. <laughs> Leaving half my skin down the bricks on the uh, door frame. Don't recommend it. It's, as I say, very, very sore. I've got lots of bruises, got lots of different colours, you know. Quite a nice diamond painting in all the different colours. <laughs> Have you ever noticed, though, it's one of the ways that you gauge how old people think you are. Because when you're younger and you fall over, nobody comes to help you. But when you're old, you know when you're old, because you fall over and everybody rushes to help you. <laughs> anyway, I was in my back garden, so I'm hoping nobody saw. And I'm definitely glad that nobody videoed it. Because, uh, yeah, it could have been one of those things that were highly embarrassing in years to come. But anyway, I'm okay and that's the main thing. But... Uh, yeah gosh you know it, it's just one of those scary times where you think oh no you know you sort of like in a heap on the floor and I'm still hanging on to the washing because I've just washed this I'm not washing it again <laughs> um, and I'm thinking if I've broken my arm or I've broken my leg what are we going to do because we've no family anywhere near that can help us um, and my parents who are the nearest um, both in their 80s, bless them, you know, I wouldn't want them coming 
you know, to help us or any, well, you know, it's just not feasible for them to help us, bless them. Um, so yeah, um, and neighbours, you know, are great, but you know, you can't be always asking your neighbours and other people. So I'm thinking we're both going to end up in respite care or something together, sat next to each other like a couple of little pensioners. <laughs> Anyway, you start patting yourself down, don't you? And uh, yeah, still with the washing in my arms because I am definitely not dropping this washing. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I got the washing into the house and I, uh, you know, sort of patted myself down. I've not broken anything, I've not done anything. And um, uh, say so it would just hurt pride more than anything. And very, very sore arms and uh, bashed my shoulder as well. I think that must have been uh, where I've caught it on the wheelie bin, the recycle bin. And uh, I've got quite a few bruises on my shoulder as well. So that's quite fun. I've uh, never been such exciting colours. <laughs> and I got sat on the settee and he'll be saying, are you okay? Are you all right? And I'm saying, no, I'm not all right. I hurt, it hurts. And he says, okay, okay, what can I do? And I said, no, you're all right. I'm okay. Oh dear, have I gone wrong on these colours? Hang on, 19. Oh no, 13. Phew, I thought I'd gone wrong then. Oh dear, that would have just capped it all off. No, right, number 13. Right. So yeah, so that was a horrible start to the weekend. And I was going to pick my friend up uh, to come and stay for the weekend as well. And you're like, well, do I still have my friend coming or not? And then I thought, no, I'll just sit here for a bit and see how it goes. And I said, I took a couple of painkillers because you know, fortunately I didn't bang my head either although that might have knocked some sense into me you never know <laughs> oh gosh I could do with it sometimes uh but no I, I was okay so I went and collected my friend and she came and she's like oh what on earth have you done and I said yeah well all of me which there's a lot of me to fall fell over <laughs> But I'm okay. I am okay. So Saturday morning comes and we're, uh, hubby decides he needs some new sort of trousers. He wears um, jogging bottoms a lot because they're easier to get on and off when you're sat in a wheelchair. Um, and he tends to find that they're more comfy on his tummy as well. You know, if you've got something tight around your tummy, it, you know, when you sat down all the time, it can uh, not be very comfortable. So... We decided we'd go and have a look for some sort of like jogging trouser type things and uh, yeah we went to a little shopping complex and we got some there so that was good it's number 15 yeah number 16 is next i'm just checking my colors while i'm talking and uh, yeah so we got those and yeah they're really nice ones he's done really well and it's a case of you know when you find something that's good and that fits uh, we bought one of each colour, there was three, and uh, the place we went shopping was like an outlet, um, just outside of Doncaster, and uh, yeah, it says it's nice, sometimes, to be honest, some of the prices, I think they're just like sale prices, and things that they want rid of, to be honest, but uh, they call it the Yorkshire outlet, so we went round there, as I say, and uh, they had a Marks and Spencers outlet there, and uh, yeah, probably got uh, these they're like a cotton, like a, a bit like a pyjama material, um, like a t-shirty pyjama material, but they're thicker um, and they're just plain. There's no logos or anything on them. So they're quite smart, really, for him to wear. And I've been saying to him for a while, because I don't think um, joggy bottoms are very cool. And uh, because he's only got one leg, he doesn't like wearing shorts because he doesn't want reminding that he's only got one leg he's, you know, it's something that does take a well if he ever does come to terms with it um you know it's uh, it's been three years now but you know it takes a lot of getting used to and a lot of adaptations and so you know he, he likes to keep his leg covered really um so yeah, we, we bought these trousers and they're really good. So we bought one of each colour, as I said. So we've got three different pairs. So that was good. So that'll keep him going for a while. Oh, look at those. They've all stuck to that in the inside of that bag. That's really strange. Oh, they've all just stuck there. Must be static. But they don't seem, seem to be static. They're not jumping anywhere. The 
just hiding in the pack, trying to stay away from me. <laughs> Frightened I'm going to fall and drop them as well. Oh dear. Right, so we're on to number 19 now. Um, we were going to go out for lunch. And uh, pop those in the bin. We went to this pub that has always been really, really lovely in the past. And the lovely meals. And they do a fantastic ploughman's lunch. And because they've got a carvery, you tend to get the ham um, for the ploughman's. comes off the ham joint that they've cooked. So it's really nice and thick and fresh and really tasty. Well, we went in and there was two girls sort of like stood as you went in the entrance. Two um, that are supposed to be supposed greeters. Because it says, you know, wait here to be seated. And I just said, oh, well, table for three. There was three of us. And she says, oh, you can just sit where you want. Well, one big part of it was closed off um, and the other part of it um, had all reserved seats and that was a shame because that was underneath the air conditioning. And obviously we're a little bit restricted because Hubby's in his wheelchair, so it's not like we can sit in every part of wherever we go. Um, and we ended up round by where the children's play area is. And that's not ideal either, because if you're talking, I mean, I love kids and I love hearing kids play. But while I'm having a meal and talking with friends, I don't necessarily want to have kids screaming in the background. Because if there's a play park, they're going to shout and scream and do what kids do. Because, you know, that's what it's there for. There's a staff and nothing against children playing and running around and screaming. Um, but I don't necessarily want to be sat eating a meal while they're doing it. And the tables were clean. Um, there was only one table that didn't have all dirty pots and things on it. And I looked up and not only was there the two girls that had been stood just chatting away when we came in. Well, employees, you know, that worked there. There was also another two that both had cleaning cloths in the hand that had just stood there chatting as well. So there was four staff just stood around chatting and dirty tables. And I said, oh, hmm. And the table that we sat at and it looked like it needed a really good wipe down as well. Uh, and to be fair, it wouldn't be the first time that I've gone to like the counter or gone to the till area and said, can I have a cloth, please? Because the table needs wiping and I've ended up wiping tables down. It's disgusting. It should be clean. If you're paying to go somewhere and have a meal out, it should be cleaned. But anyway, and in the end, we were looking through the menu and then... One of these two girls came over and took away all the pots, didn't wipe the table. This was the table behind us. And then the other girl that she'd been talking to came and took away all the glasses that were on the table. And she didn't wipe the table either. And I just said, do you know, I just don't want to be here. Shall we go somewhere else? So we just came home. <laughs> so instead of having our uh, dinner, which is like lunch, um, at lunchtime, dinner time as we call it um, we came home and had it an hour later because it, it took us an hour to get home and I just did a nice quiche salad for us instead <laughs> so the uh, pub lost out on the money and we saved the money yay <laughs> but I can't eat anywhere that's dirty it's, it's not on you know, if you paid to be cleaning then please clean Right, I'm just looking at this now. There's two bags of that one and I nearly missed it. So that's the second bag of number 23. And then we've got 24 and 25. So these should fit in. So that's fine. Okay, and then yesterday, um, Lottie's mum, you've, I don't know if you've been with me a while. Uh, Lottie is a little shih tzu that comes to stay with us when her mum goes on holiday. And really good friends with Millie. We've had some great fun having a stay over. Um, and she rang up and she said, did we want to go and meet somewhere and take the girls out, the dogs out for a walk? So I said, yeah, brilliant. So we met up in our big park yesterday and it was fantastic. The, do the girls, uh, Millie and Lottie, just had a, a wonderful time. I mean, we thoroughly enjoyed it as well because we're doing nothing but natter. I'm surprised I've got any voice left the amount of talking we did yesterday. But uh, yeah, we just had a really, really good time. The uh, dogs had a really good run round. I mean, it was real funny because um, we'd parked at different places and uh, 
as Lottie sort of like saw Millie coming towards her, uh, her mum dropped the lead and she just came running up to us. Oh, it was super, really, really good. So yeah, we went to, it's a place called East Park. I know it because I've uh, lived in Hull, uh, lived in Hull and the surrounding areas all my life. And uh, when I was little, I used to go there. Sorry, I'm just grabbing a pen. I need to put these. I'm going to use these pots now. Now that I know what uh, I've got duplicates of, I might as well use these pots rather than have a, having them sat in packets. So I'm just going to do another number 23 there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put 23, which is 3371 there. Okay, we went to into this into the park and it was very humid so the dogs were drinking gallons we always take water with us anyway and um, we've got like a squeezy bottle where for millie where you squeeze it up and the water comes into like a little bowl at the top of the bottle and she drinks out of the bowl but uh, she'll then go and drink out of dirty puddles which we try and hastily stop her because you never know what's in the puddles you know um, but yeah, she came across this standard poodle and uh, oh bless her, she was absolutely gorgeous. She'd just been groomed, so she looked really, really pretty and she had like her mop top head and everything. She was like a creamy white colour and Millie just went straight between her legs and started drinking hair water and you could see this poodle sort of like looking down from up above because obviously Millie's only real low to the ground and the poodle's really tall and long legs. Looking down thinking, what's that? Something's drinking my water. <laughs> so, yeah, how she gets away with it, I will never know. She's so naughty. But, yeah, you know, before we could stop her, she'd just literally gone between these uh, the poodle's legs and just started drinking its water. And at one bit, she sort of, like, looked around and said, oh, hello. <laughs> and like, Billy, that's not yours. But, fortunately, the man, you know, that was with the poodle who was talking to him for ages and i said oh i'm so sorry and he said oh no you're all right just let her have it it's not a problem and um, i've got plenty and he'd got like a little rucksack as well with bottles of water in uh, you tend to find that dog owners do tend to have uh, poop scoops in one pocket and in this time this time of year always bottles of water in a bag or something with them <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and then we met two different puppies as well. There was uh, people taking puppies out for the first time. Oh, that's always gorgeous. I can't resist a puppy. To see somebody with a puppy, I've just got to go and talk to them. The puppies, I mean, not the people with them. <laughs> I'm not only kidding. <laughs> um, because Millie is so lovely and so placid and uh, loves other dogs and things. Ooh, they are all going to go in there, so... Just tip a few of those out. I might need four of these. Okay. So I'll pop that one at the end there. I'll make sure I've got the three tens. Um, I always let her go near puppies because puppies, you know, on the whole, um, particularly younger ones, need to be sort of socialised and need to meet other dogs and things. And because she is so placid and just loves everybody, it gets them used to other dogs, you know. And uh, yeah, she oh she just uh, fell in love with this one little puppy. Uh, it was a little baby spaniel. Oh, and it was so cute. It was um, a chocolate and cream one. Oh, and he was so timid. But by the end of sort of like sniffing Millie, they were sort of like playing a bit. You know, he was going down on his front legs with his little bottom in the air, wanting to play, which is always a good sign. You know, it's. Uh, I'd love to take Millie to sort of like puppy play parks, really, because she just loves to be off the lead and running with other dogs. There's uh, a little character, but yeah, she had a great time with Lottie. They went chasing squirrels, um, but fortunately this time, um, particularly having fallen on Friday, I did make sure that I wasn't holding on to leads when they went chasing squirrels. <laughs> have a repeat of last time having to go running along with them because they both take off at the same time to chase a squirrel <laughs> okay well that one's kitted up uh, quicker than i was expecting or was it just me nattering i don't know <laughs> 
anyway, uh, what I'll do, um, I took some little videos of the dogs yesterday playing and uh, running around. So I'll put some at the end of this video if you do want to see those. But that is my beautiful full crystal owl all kitted up and ready to be done, which is excellent. Um, I am halfway through my crystal, uh, buh, 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 what is it, dandelions, yeah, the dandelion clocks, uh, the blue crystally ones, I'm halfway through that, I think that was the one I got from Coo Deals, so that one uh, will be de-kitted shortly, uh, but yeah. For now, that is me done. As I say, if you want to just watch a couple of little videos, I know some people like to see them of Millie and Lottie running around the park, then so I'll put them at the end. There's no videos of me falling over, so don't worry. You won't see any injuries or anything. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed seeing this video and uh, listening to my chat, then a thumbs up's always much appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, and I promise not to throw myself on the floor anymore if I can help it. <laughs> and with that, stay safe, everybody. Please try not to trip up yourselves as well. Uh, if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, and as I say, not falling over, then if you press that subscription button, and the all notifications button pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. Is squirrel searching? Has there been a squirrel? Merely moo. Merely. What are you doing? Are you laughing? Is it nice being out? Are you waiting for Lottie? Is Lottie coming? She'll be here soon. What have you got stuck to your face now? Oh, for goodness sake. Merely moo. I know. It's Lottie! Hello! 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 It's Lottie! Hello, Lottie! Hello! I'm hiding! Hello! Lottie, what are you doing? You've got leaves on your face. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Lottie's fell after it. It's gone up the tree, Lottie. You won't get it. <laughs> no. <laughs>